Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen and this is Little House Plant Life. So I have been to a garden centre today, which you can probably tell from the title of this video. <laughs> um, I am really excited, but to show you like what they've got and what they had there. However, I wasn't actually planning on filming this. I actually went to this garden centre as sort of a Christmas fun trip with me and my mum. And I ended up falling in love with some of the house plants. They had some incredible selection there. And I just wanted to show you, especially if you live locally to the area. Um, so the garden centre is actually Stuart's Garden Centre in Christchurch. It's in the south of England and it's absolutely fantastic. So I've, I haven't been there since I was younger, basically. I don't live near there. It's about an hour and a half drive for me. But when I used to go there when I was younger, they used to have really cool Christmas displays and stuff like that. So I went down as a bit of like a nostalgic thing to spend some time with my mum and do something nice and Christmassy while I had the day off. And it turned into me filming and doing a bit of a planty video. However, we did enjoy most of the day together. So it isn't a really long sort of tour of the plants, I guess. Um, it was also quite loud and echoey. So I did just film it and I will do a bit of an over voiceover for you. Um, so that you can sort of get a bit more information about them. Um, I do also apologise for the filming a little bit because the lighting wasn't great and my camera just wasn't really um, working with it. So I just sort of did what I could. Um, but yeah, I really hope that you enjoy it and we'll get into the video and then I will um, come back and talk to you at the end. Enjoy. <laughs> So just going to head into the plants and get started really. So just some beautiful dressianas and things there. Um, some nice sort of, quite a lot of nice common plants as you expect from most garden centres to be honest. Um, there's beautiful monsteras here. Um, not wide form though from what I gathered. There's not much fenestration on them at all. Then we come over to the philodendron red sun is what they're labelled as. If, they're, if you think they're called something different, please do let me know. I haven't actually come across them before. Um, I've seen them briefly, but not to know them by name properly. Um, these were the Epipremnum blue form. Quite nice, actually. I really like the fall on them and the, the leaf shape. It's a bit different to what I've sort of, for most plants, really. Um, just going to come in now on the Monstera Peru there. I do have this one downstairs. Um, it's quite a nice plant, actually. Quite like the way it grows. Now these are absolutely gorgeous. It's the first time I'd actually seen them in person. And these are the Philodendron Branti Brantianum, I think they're called. <laughs> Can't pronounce it very well. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. The white on the leaves is beautiful. They're very similar to the Skindapsis family. Um, but yeah, a lot more silver, which is really quite pretty. beautiful leaves and foliage on some of these I didn't obviously go through all of the names because it's a bit bit too much there um so we're coming on now to the philodendron melanocrysum which I absolutely adore these are absolutely beautiful the velvety leaves I mean yeah they're in such good condition as well I was actually quite surprised um I haven't really seen these in in such great condition before and 150 pounds which you know I didn't think was too bad it's kind of a standard price for these um, and the size of them as well for that price I thought was really good. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. I was actually gutted that I couldn't get one, to be honest. <laughs> um, but come round then to the alocasias. So this is the silver dragon to start off with. Um, as you could tell, it's got the much more silvery leaves um, compared to the one next to it, which is the dragon scale. So I have the dragon scale downstairs. It's got the beautiful um, red veining underneath the leaves, which is just lovely. And the third one is the Red Secret. So they're all quite similar, really, um, just slightly different colouring. So you've got much more silvery with the silver. The Dragon Scale is sort of the greeny middle ground. And then the Red Secret has obviously got the red on top of the leaves as well as underneath. I think in the background there was a um, Regnula Back Velvet, potentially, just off to the right there, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, these are the Alocasia Amazonica Poly, which they're only £4 each and they're really cute. I thought they, I really liked those. They're really diddy ones. Alocasias just have quite unusual leaf shapes and I quite liked the white veining um, on these ones. Yeah. 
can just go back over to show you there. They're very beautiful. I do like the alocasia actually. They're growing on me a lot more now. Beautiful ferns here, um, especially in the centre here. These giant Boston ferns are absolutely gorgeous. I actually really want a big large one, but once again, it's space in my house. So <laughs> we shall see, maybe one day. Um, you also have the um, different types of ferns in there. So the Aspenum scolopendium, I want to say. Um, asparagus ferns, blue star ferns, and then obviously the big palms there. Just had the ficus off to the left there as well, sort of ficus section. But I didn't really go into them because obviously it's quite a lot. These are different um, orchids. They're more for like the collectors. So that's why they're so small and they've all got little labels on them and labelled up there as well. Um, sorry, I struggled to get a focus on these really. For some reason my camera wouldn't focus. I think it's because they're quite small. So... But yeah, they're absolutely lovely. I picked up the two that I sort of was drawn to more of the leaf pattern and things. But yeah, really lovely. Got a little polka dot plant there. Um, and then I think that was an Alocasia fry deck, but I will um, go a bit closer to that shortly. We come down to the pink princess now. Now these are absolutely beautiful. I was actually quite shocked to see a pink princess in a garden center. Um, it's definitely nothing I've seen before. So yeah, that was really cool. These are quite little ones. Um, and I think these were, what does that say, about £12 maybe? And I thought that was really good, but I wasn't overly keen on the variegation on them. These were slightly larger ones, and I actually thought that, that was quite good, especially for £30. And especially that left-hand leaf there, that was quite nicely variegated. Back to the fry deck now, just to show you those properly. They've got that really beautiful um, velvety leaf again there. So, yeah, really nice. Another pink princess at the back there. This is a much larger one. Um, and it's got that one nice leaf there that's variegated. But other than that, the rest of it was quite low variegation, to be fair. Um, however, that top leaf there does look like it's coming out quite nicely. Um, and when I finally turn it around, that comes at £100 for that one. This is absolutely gorgeous, but I don't actually know the name of this one. So if you do know, please do let me know. For some reason, I don't zoom in on the label. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. And I really liked the variegation on it. It was kind of like a yellowy variegation, which is quite nice. Um, I did actually look at the label and when I saw it, I thought, oh yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, it slipped my mind, unfortunately. <laughs> so then just coming on to these beautiful um, Alocasia Platinum, I believe they're called. Yeah, quite cool, actually. Um, obviously, Alocasia family, <laughs> um, very similar to your dragon scales and things like that again. This is a beautiful anthurium. Um, it's slightly bent up and end, actually, on that leaf there. But yeah, I really like the way that these sit. They have that nice sort of front facing rather than tilting up. So they can sit a bit high and you can still see them. That's some sort of, I want to say... Um, like, I, I thought it was a Syngonium, but I don't think it is actually. Um, but yeah, it's quite unusual, that sort of print on some of those there. And then they had a beautiful variegated mon um, Syngonium there as well. This is the White Princess, which once again, I was really shocked to see in a garden centre. Really beautiful. I actually really like the leaves on this one. And I thought it had some quite good variegation, to be fair, compared to what they had on the Pink Princess. And I found that this one's got the much lighter leaves as well. And I believe that one was about £170, I think that's up there. Nice birds of paradise up there. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, back to the, sort of the ficus area here. Going along, we're coming to the beautiful little minis here. So you've got some Sansevieria there, mini polka dot plants, some little ferns, um, some little syngoniums there as well. Back past the beautiful ferns there. <laughs> I couldn't resist another look at those. <laughs> I think I am sort of leaning more towards that Alocasia family at the moment. So uh, you might see me purchase a few more of those in the future. Um, we come over now to some Maranta and Calathea sort of area. So that was the Maranta herringbone. Um, Calathea lancifolia, I think that one is. I've got a large one of those. Um, 
and a couple of others there like the Sabrina and the Magic Star as well. Beautiful large monstera again there. This um, fiddly fig there was huge as well. It was like four stems coming out of one container. It's absolutely huge. So I just um, wanted to go over and show you the cactus section here as well. Um, this is a really cool sort of area, really. They had some really beautiful ones. I mean, look at that. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. I really love the white sort of look that these have. And it's almost got like a slight grey colour to it as well. I just think it's absolutely stunning. Some really nice little hanging ones here as well that I quite enjoyed. Um, especially that one there, but I can't remember what it's called and I always forget. But it's very funky. Most of these were just little um, sort of cacti and things, but they had some really big ones like this. And I thought that actually, if you're looking for some big cacti, this is a really good place to go because they did have these larger ones. Um, and they were quite reasonable price from what I can remember. Nice ZZ plants here as well. They actually had the, is it the black ZZ plant? Can't remember what it's called, but they had the black version of it there anyway, um, which is very nice of the cacti around here so that was about it really for this garden center um yeah i really enjoyed looking around all the plants here and i will um head back home now and show you what i purchased Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know that there's quite um, a lot of rare plants in there. And I mean, some of the prices were kind of average, but I also thought there were some that were really good priced in there as well. So I really do hope that you enjoyed that. And if you live locally, do get down there and pick some of them up because yeah, I mean, it's the first time, especially in like my local, like I say local, in it's sort of the, within two hours of where I live um, that I have actually seen things like the pink princess, the white princess, um, the, well, any different type of allocation really. There were hundreds of obviously very popular, popular ones in there. And I've just, it's a long time since I've seen anything like that in an actual garden center. So yeah, I was really impressed and I definitely want to go back down there at some point when I've got a little bit more money because I don't have a lot at the moment um, <laughs> being Christmas and all. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm going to go and check out again and hopefully make some really nice purchases. Purchases. So if you do enjoy this video um, and when I go back in the new year, if you'd like me to do another one, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I did actually pick up a plant, only one, and it was a very small one and it's very cheap, but I was quite excited about it. And I just wanted to show you that quickly before you go. But I do also want to keep this nice, short and sweet. And it's mainly about just showing you the garden centre and what they had to offer. So I actually picked up now on the label, it says Alocasia Curly Bambino. So obviously it's basically just the small Alocasia is what they're saying. Um, however, I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this is an Alocasia Amazonica Poly or Alocasia Poly. I think it's Amazonica Poly, but please do correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, how cute. I mean, I know these aren't very expensive anyway, um, but as you know, if you watch my other videos, I'm kind of in the realm for smaller plants these days and not so much the high end stuff. Um, and this one actually costs, I don't know if you can see that at all, but this one actually cost me £3.99, which is amazing. So let's just show you some of the leaves here. Make sure you can see that. It's very exciting, isn't it? And the little one here, I love the purple underneath as well. I think it's really cool. And I really like the white veining on the dark leaf. I really have, I really enjoy that sort of light veining on dark leaves. I think it's amazing. And it's the same as my um, Alocasia Dragon Scale, which obviously they had in the video there as well. Cannot believe they have that in a garden center. It's great. Um, but the veining underneath the leaves of those, I just love it. So anything to do with veining or like deep purples under leaves and things. I really enjoy so yeah that was my plant purchase as I said it wasn't a lot that I ended up purchasing um there was certainly plenty there that I did want to purchase um yeah so one plant that I really did um fall in love with there was the the philodendron melanocrysum I think is how you say it 
absolutely stunning. I actually put a photo up on my Instagram because I was so impressed by it and thought it was just absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it was on there for like £150 at the garden centre, but they had loads of them and they were in really good condition as well. That's one thing I will say, actually, there was really good condition of some of these plants. However, the, I found that the philodendron pink, pink princess, um, the variegation wasn't necessarily holding up throughout. And that's one of the main reasons why I didn't purchase one because I probably would have got one if they had like a really outstanding variegation on one of the, on any of them but I mean there was some really nice variegation at the bottom but some of the leaves were sort of losing their variegation as they were growing out and I don't want to buy a plant if it's going to revert or lose its variegation however I don't really know much about philodendron and especially the pink princess or the white princess I'm not I don't have either of them so obviously I don't know the ins and outs and I haven't really done a lot of research into them so what I will probably do with those is do a little bit more research and then maybe pop back down in the new year and hope that they've still got some but yeah that, phil that philodendron I really did love um the velvety leaves are just absolutely gorgeous and really happy with my purchase. So I do hope you enjoyed my video. Um, let me know what your favorite plant was from the video and what you would most likely buy if you went to that garden center. Um, pop it in the comments down below. It'd be really fun to see what your choices are and what you decide. Um, and yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well if you liked my video today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.